Hello, it's Jimmy here, the Ruddies. Have here another Renault traffic to look at. So it is one of the usual faults. I'm gonna say because he's had the RAC out, they've regened it. Um, he's had the glow plugs changed, then it's been regened again, I think. Uh, but the fault light keeps coming back on within 20 to 30 miles. So we're gonna get inside and have a look at what's going on. So looking at the DPF, we have. 30 millibars of pressure and 46 grams of soot at idle. I'm going to check what fault codes we have. Preheating diagnostic faults and engine oil dilution. It did have a diesel particulate filter blockage fault, but obviously that was cleared by the RAC, I think. Okay, so for these two codes, the oil has been changed and the glow plugs have been changed apparently, so I'm going to assume that the fault codes wasn't cleared and we're just going to clear these two for this so we'll do a reset on the engine oil and a fault code clear of the glow plugs and if it comes back then we'll probably remove the glow plugs and test them so we're going to go in and reset the oil service so we're going to look for we're going to use these buttons here going to look for the service intervals and then we're gonna press and hold and then press and hold again wait until it stops beeping cycle ignition back on and off okay now we're gonna clear the fault codes here So for this one, I'm going to do it a little bit different than I normally do, so in terms of uh, what fault I'm going to do first. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and try and clean the DPF, see is the DPF itself um, in a good shape. After that, we're going to take it on a drive, uh, of course, which should then show us if the DPF has come clean and also if we have a glow plug fault come back so and then if we get a glow plug fault come back we'll look at the glow plugs afterwards the reason being I'm not going to look at the glow plugs first is the customer said that the glow plugs were replaced he had someone replace them while he was standing there and he's he said for definite that there was no scan tool plugged in or the cold wasn't cleared after the glow plugs were fitted so I'm just going to assume that, that that's correct for a minute. Um, we'll clean the DPF up. If the glow plug fault comes back, then we'll look at that. Okay, so we have the usual DPF cleaning fluid here and the gun attachment that we're going to get filled up. So we've got the fluid in there. Okay, now we can go out and we'll get this cleaning stuff put into the uh, Renault Traffic or Vivaro, whatever you want to call it. They're all the same van. And I wish that I could show you something different today, but being honest, I'm doing most most days I'm doing at least three Vauxhall Vivaros or Renault Traffics so it is difficult for me to show you other vehicles when this is mainly all I'm sort of doing at the minute but we do see a few other cars there and there so we'll try and add something different into the mix soon I just I haven't done one of these in a while so I thought I'll make a new video okay so I've got my compressor set up and it's connected to the van here okay so this pipe is now connected into the DPF pressure uh, sensor pipe here so this is a different layout some of these vans don't have the DPF under air a lot of them have the DPF above the subframe up there so this one's a little bit easier to access now I'm just going to squeeze the trigger get the fluid pushed in looks like my compressors just went off so the rain again has probably killed that okay, we've got it under the van it seems to come back on now we'll continue getting this in. They don't like the rain, these these tools. Okay, now we've got the cleaning fluid in the van. We're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes, then we'll get inside and we'll have a look at the pressures. Okay, gonna hold the revs up at 3000 RPM. Gonna keep an eye then on the pressure here of the DPF. Well, it seems to have come down already, hasn't it? Let's let it idle for a minute. We 
are at 8 at the minute. We're just going to hold the revs up a little bit longer. See how fast this soot can come down. Try and get it to hold steady. We're down to sort of 5 grams of soot now. It's still coming down, but we're in a healthy range now. Let it idle down. So we're down to four millibars, which is perfect. So just doing a, another test drive to make sure that the glow plug fault doesn't come back. Usually they come back within about five minutes if there is an issue there still. Okay, a couple of more test drives. Uh, we still haven't got any any glow plug errors come back, so we're just gonna take it like I said before that the fault wasn't cleared for that. Uh, we'll go back into the data stream. So I'm just looking at the live data for the DPF again. So that all looks okay. Okay, so we just held the revs up for another minute there just to check where that's moving. It looks all, all okay for now. And again, one last read of the fault codes. So looking in some of the other faults here, we have got faults in various different places. External temperature sensor. Now this one doesn't have AdBlue, so the wing mirror external temperature sensor doesn't really affect these uh, all sorts of sort of voltage related faults here so we're just going to get all of those cleared okay so you might say I didn't actually do any um, any repairs so why was my DPF clean successful when the other stuff wasn't I think it's it's the the way around that it was done so RAC I think done a regen while the global faults were still there uh, then this guy had the glow plugs changed. Someone didn't clear the faults for the glow plugs, so they're still logged in the system. Um, and then, yeah, so that's why we still had the errors. And then obviously the DPF is not going to regen while the pressure is at that sort of limit. At 46 grams, it won't even attempt to do a regen. So by, by cleaning it out, we have seem to have successfully got rid of all of the rest of the faults. Obviously it's already had the glow plugs done, like I said, and the oil changed. So we just, we've done a reset on those and Pretty simple one really, so that's about it. So, see you on the next video.